We've got three announcements this week on the accelerating decline of the dollar coming from China, Argentina, and the African gold producer, Ghana. First up, China announced they're now using more yuan than dollars in their cross-border payments. At this point, the yuan is now used in almost half of all of China's cross-border payments for the first time edging out the US dollar at a 47% share. Note, the dollar share is down 2% from just a month ago, meaning China could be substantially free of the dollar in another couple of years. Now, China is by far the world's largest exporter. It exports almost double what the US does. So paired with other countries also getting out of the dollar, this is driving down dollar trade settlement worldwide. According to SWIFT, the global consortium of banks and financial firms that handles cross-border currency trades, the US dollar is now down to just 40% of world trade being settled in dollars. Now, that is a very large drop from the dollar's 52% share as recently as 2014. In fact, another couple years of this, and the dollar starts to approach America's actual share of world GDP of roughly 25%. In other words, if you get to 25%, you are no longer a reserve currency, at least not for trade. You're just doing at-home stuff. Next up, Argentina announced it's shifting the yuan for Chinese imports. Now, that's expected to total about $10 billion per year going forward. In fact, Argentina is turning from the dollar more broadly, running down its dollar reserves and replacing them with Chinese yuan. Just last November, Argentina announced a fresh $5 billion swap. That's a loan between central banks. Now, for perspective, China is already Argentina's second largest trading partner, and Argentina is the second biggest economy in South America, after Brazil, which, oddly enough, also recently announced it's switching to yuan. In fact, last month, Brazil reported that the yuan passed the euro to become the number two currency in Brazil's foreign exchange reserves. By the way, as recently as 2018, Brazil had zero Chinese yuan. And also note Brazil still holds about 250 billion US dollars, so there is a long ways down if they keep at it. Finally, the country of Ghana, the sixth largest gold producer in the world, is now requiring gold miners to sell 20% of their gold to the government, which it will then use to pay for imported oil rather than chasing dollars that could be rug pulled at any moment. This kind of moving towards hard assets is very similar to what Russia did last year with its own gold producers, and it suggests a new trend for developing countries to quickly exit the dollar. In fact, the president of the seventh largest gold producer, Indonesia, has already said he wants out of the dollar. He literally said, quote, look what happened to Russia. Note, number three gold producer, Russia, number 12, South Africa, and number 14, Brazil, are already part of BRICS, while other major gold producers like Peru, Kazakhstan, and Sudan may be next. It was once unthinkable that the U.S. would lose dominance in manufacturing, and yet our politicians made it happen via death by a thousand cuts. And so, once again, our leaders turned to destroying, cut by self-inflicted cut, what it took generations to build. All right, we'll be watching. See you next time.